Hi everyone, it's Cindy A. Lewis and I'm coming to you with a quick Dollar Tree haul. I went out this weekend and picked up some things for um, junk journaling. I picked up some gifts to give away. Uh, we have a party coming up at the end of June and they had their Independence Day um, papers and plates and napkins and decorations out. So I wanted to show you that. And then I found a few things for around the house for organization that I thought you might be interested in. So I wanted to share that with you really quickly. Okay, so first they had a big bin at the front of the store. And by the way, if you're in the Tulsa area, I went to the 81st and Yale location. Anyway, if you've not seen this movie, The Man in the Iron Mask, it's pretty good. Uh, Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio is in it, and so we picked it up. I think we watched it on, like, uh, VHS or on TV or something many t years ago. Um, it is a PG-13, so if you're interested, they had a lot of videos, uh, DVDs, and they had some Blu-ray also at the front of the store. So check those out for a dollar. Um, they also had the first season of the Beverly Hillbillies or something like that. So I thought that's pretty fun. I checked the book section and they had this book, Dear Mr. President. And it's really cool. It's some letters to um, Theodore Roosevelt that were written to him. And I believe him writing back. And it has some pictures in it and everything, which is really cool. But I thought it would be cool for junk journaling and adding some of the letters in and some of the pictures. And for a dollar, you can hardly beat this. So if you are interested, you may want to check out this book and see if your store has it. Anyway, really good deal. Um, not sure how much it was originally, but it's by Jennifer Armstrong, if you're interested in that. So really cool. Also found another book that it's not, I did not buy the book for the book itself. Although it has some cool um, writing in it and it has pictures in it too. Let me see if I can show a couple. I actually got the book, well it doesn't really have, it doesn't really have pictures but it has quotes like uh, separated out and then it has breaks in the chapters. But I thought it was a really good size for the binding to use for junk journaling. And I'm trying to learn all I can. And I've started my process of learn with me junk journals. And I'm getting ready to do part two. And I think it's going to be deciding on a theme and choosing your papers. So that's what I'm thinking that we're going to do. But anyway, this is a great size. The size of the book and then the bind, uh, the spine is also a great size. Might not have to redo that. Anyway, great deals on those few things. Another thing that I saw that the Dollar Tree has are seeds, <laughs> if you can believe it. These are 99 cent seeds and each packet and they're four for a dollar. These are um, dated, however, but sometimes seeds just stay dormant anyway. So they're better if they're sold by their dates. You know, like, well, no, these are still good. Packaged for sale by 2018, 12, 2018. So disregard what I just said. I thought it said 16. But anyway, they had all kinds of flowers. And if you've ever grown sunflowers, my goodness, they are amazing. And they grow huge. And then the birds come eat all your sunflowers. <laughs> It's kind of hard to keep them out. But anyway, and then they had um, vegetables also. And let's see, there you go. And <clears throat> I saw, I'm a cool mom. You can check out her channel. And she does a gardening uh, journal that she keeps track of. And she used some of her packets as, as pockets in her journal. So I thought even if I didn't get to use the seeds, all of them, I could use these as pockets for junk journals or even dailies. So anyway, thought I would show you those and what a great deal. And the pictures are really pretty. Okay, I'm thinking of doing a journal. I have like this really long list. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm thinking of doing a journal for, I'm sorry about the light. It seems to be 
really hitting me funny. Okay, I'm thinking of doing a journal for um, a friend of mine that's having a baby boy. And I found this ribbon at the Dollar Tree, so I thought it would be fun to add in to her journal. I also am thinking of doing a tassel and a um, charm a video. And I don't know whether to do that first or do, I think I need to do the theme first because then it would dictate which charms I use. Okay, so the next thing I found were these organizational, um, these are the, Collapsible storage containers by Essentials. And they had four different colors. They had an, uh, like an orangey, reddish color. And then they had a darker, kind of greenish blue. And then they had this like yellow green and this pretty pink. And these are large. These are uh, 10 and a half by 11. And they're, they're really cool. And they're made really nice just like all the other ones and so these are a dollar at the Dollar Tree I don't know how long they'll have them but I wanted to get this out to you all right next in the stationery section uh, over the office supplies I went by and I found these fruit scented pens now I, I give away things all the time to our ladies group or our kids church and stuff and these are gel pens so I just wanted to see if they really this is strawberry. Ooh, they really do smell good. Here, you want to smell? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Anyway, so they this this package has strawberry, blueberry, and grape. So anyway, you might check those out if you're interested in that. They are writing at a 0.8 millimeters, so it's a pretty good thick line, and so that would be nice. So try that. You get three for a dollar. They also had some uh, washi tape. I don't always go to this 81st and Yale location, but this washi tape is uh, really cute for fall. It's leaves and um, berries and that kind of thing. And it's kind of a real pretty color. And <clears throat> so I thought, well, I would go ahead and pick it up. I don't usually get to see uh, washi tape at our store. It's usually all gone. Uh, for summer, I found some really cute stickers, and I'm working on organizing my stickers, so I've got to do that. I also found another one of these journals for a giveaway um, for our ladies, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my channel. Um, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a really nice giveaway for all of you to thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel and being a part of my community. I'm really excited about that. And so I'm on my way. I'm like 385 or something. So I'm really excited about that. But when I hit 500, I'm going to do uh, a giveaway. So anyway, talking about giveaways. Okay, another thing that I really like to use at the Dollar Tree are these um, notebooks. Let's see, I got four of them because I really do like to use them. We use them at our church and stuff for special events. So I'll show you, if you have not seen these, they are not available all the time, which is why I grabbed them. Um, they have their organizational little folder. It's like a file, and it has a number of... Uh, pockets that are plastic pockets they are different colors so you can organize them and they have tabs on them so that you can put the tabs in and then they come with um, <clears throat> the tab stickers so that you can put your um, sorry I keep saying um today but anyway you can put your file name on there of what is behind that so or in that pocket and we use these a lot for events and stuff. So I wanted to get these and I wanted to let you know that they were there in case you were interested in that. I did pick up two of these poly envelope pockets. Uh, what's cool about this, and I, I just bought one last time because I wasn't sure how it worked, but I'm gonna show you real quick, very quickly. They had different colors. They had purple, pink, and blue, and I think they had a green. Anyway, so you, you get two. And there are pockets that open here. It's a real nice, heavy plastic. It is um, translucent, it's not totally clear. But you pull this side out and it slides into a three ring binder. So 
Anyway, that's unique and it's really nice. I do have one that I'm already using and I, so I went ahead and picked up the, a pink and a, a turquoise blue, real pretty blue. Okay, um, I am doing another um. Sorry, are we counting? I'm sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is a cute frame for a friend of mine that's graduating this year from college. And so I thought it would be a really nice for me to give her that with her card and gift. Next, I want to show you some bags that I found at the Dollar Tree. I had not seen these pencil bags. This one is butterflies. It's very pretty and it has the yellow accent. And these are a real nice heavy duty material and they go in your binder. This one is a zebra and it says hello. So it's got the pink. It's adorable, by the way. And of course, it is a zipper. Um, this is in there, so you'd have to cut that out to open it all the way. And then I got, oops, I got three. Hold on a second. Okay, I think I just took a picture of all three, so I put that picture in this video. But the other one was a little bunny rabbit, really cute, and uh, the accent was purple. So, and I did miss one set of stickers. Uh, these home. Home Sweet Home and Family stickers. I really love the clock, and so I had that. Now, there were a couple of bags that I hadn't seen. Um, these are your little tote bag. If you remember, I picked up the pineapple ones for giveaways, and then this one is just a really cute little pink bag, and these are material canvas, and then this one is more purple, so purple and blue. Okay, so I got the... So I just wanted to show you these bags. They're foil, you get three, and they were hanging on the side of an aisle or a um, station in, in the center, like a little kiosk set up shelving. And so these are really cute. They had other colors too, in case you're interested, like Mother's Day, I think was the focus of that little kiosk area. Um, they had, I keep saying, um. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is today. <laughs> okay. I know what I'm talking about. Anyway. All right. So they had this cute little clip board. You can color it and it says follow your dreams on the back and it does have magnets on it. It has 40 sheets of paper in the little pad and I thought it would be adorable. Now for junk journals, to back on that, they had these sales order books with 50 sheets, and I thought if these were aged some, they would be really cute in your junk journal. So that's just a thought, and you know, I'm just learning and all that, but I thought it would be cute, and put it in a pocket, and then you could either list some things that you were shopping that day and you wanted to list, or even just journal on it, or even on the back. So I thought it would be cute. Um, it was a dollar, so if it doesn't work, I guess it's okay. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you are some napkins that I picked up that are something you can decoupage onto like tags or bookmarks or something like that and for journals. And so I got one for the baby journal. Of course, I get 20 napkins, so it's a lot of napkins, but... And then one that's kind of summery, so I don't know if I'll use them for that. And then this one, too. I thought they were really cute. But I found some real cute ideas about embellishments with kind of Mod Podge and putting your books behind it, your words or pages, and it's really, really a cute idea. So I want to try that. Also, I want to make a journal for a friend of mine that's a veteran and I want to be all patriotic so I'm waiting on the papers to go on sale so I can get some patriotic papers because I don't have any but anyway I did pick up some napkins but I am also going to be having a little get together and <clears throat> so I picked up the plates to go with that I thought these were real cute and they say let freedom ring and happy fourth I think and celebrate so those were cute. They're, they are the square plates. Like I said, they still did have all their um, patriotic stuff starting to come out for July 4th. So this is 
uh, you um, we united we stand uh, we stand um, banner and it's really cute it's seven feet long and even if I didn't use it for that I could use the lettering so I was really excited about that they also have these cute uh, votive candle or tea light candle uh, holders that are stars they had this one that would be kind of in place of white silver and then they had the red and they're cute and then they had blue so for my party I got these and I thought they would be sweet then also for your journals and for paper clips and for multiple things you can use garland to add a little to it and so I picked up this star garland red white and blue additionally thinking ahead I'm really probably not gonna wear these scarves but I may gift one but anyway I picked these up for the material and these were a dollar it is rather thin material but um, very cute and I really like the choices they made in uh, designing these so I did pick those up. I picked up some bandanas. Now these could be covers, uh, material covers on your junk journals. They are, this is two bandanas. Let me see actually how, let me see if I can cut this for you real quick. Okay. Um, so I just was thinking to cover your journal. So you got like a 12 by 12 here. And that would be cool to go on my patriotic journal on the outside. But I also did pick up some fat yards at Walmart from the material to see what I liked better. I may end up making more than one journal once I get going, but I still have to get going, right? Okay, there's two other things that I picked up. I picked up um, that were patriotic. I picked up these cute lights, which I thought would be fun uh, to decorate with. And then these cute flip-flops that I thought would be fun for a gift to give away. Okay, just a couple more things. I picked up this cute jug. It has a dispenser on the front. They had different colors to go with their spring organizational collection, all their bins. And this is really cute and would be great for summer. And I'm going to be uh, maybe giving that in our kids' church for giveaway. My kids like stuff like that. And I picked up some pictures. So I'm going to be doing a quick DIY with these. Did I say pictures? You know, it is a work day. <laughs> I'm at lunch, so anyway. Okay, these are flowers. Um, please excuse me. I picked up some flowers at the Dollar Tree to use for decorating uh, my house this spring. And I really like these white and whitish flowers. And so I picked them up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry for the little mishaps. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You'll give it a thumbs up and come back and subscribe and come back and um, follow me on the journey for with my junk journals I already have a couple of videos out one is part one because that's the first one of copy dyeing one is just some supplies that i had uh, ordered to get started and then we're going to be going on our journey uh, soon and then just other little crafts i like to do all kinds of crafts and i hope that you will follow me and you'll be a part of that and then when we hit 500 we're going to be doing a fun giveaway so anyway thank you so much i really appreciate all my subscribers and thank you for watching